Four people were on the plane that crashed, including a baby girl, and tonight we're learning more about who they were. Adam Longo is here with that part of this story. At So Leslie, only within the past couple of hours, we found pictures of two of the victims of this crash that we can share with you. This is 49-year-old Adina Azarian and her two-year-old daughter, Aria. According to the New York Times, Azarian was a realtor and worked as an agent for Keller Williams Points North, covering New York and Long Island. The company said in a statement on Monday, that her death was a profound loss for colleagues and family. Now that plane was ferrying the mother and daughter back home to Long Island after a visit with family in the mountains of Western North Carolina. A nanny was also killed in the crash along with the pilot. Now a man named John Rumpel is the owner of the plane. He spoke to the Washington Post and told them that it was his family on board, his daughter and his two year old granddaughter. He also identified the pilot as Jeff Hefner. The Post reports that Hefner had a pilot rating that qualified him to fly jets, including the Boeing 737. Now, Rumpel is a pilot himself and told the Post he used the plane to fly from his home in Florida to a second home in North Carolina. It was a way he said to bring his family together. And he said that that was a big priority after he had lost his 19 year old daughter, Victoria, in a scuba diving accident. Now, Rumpel and his wife, they own a senior living apartment building in Florida named Victoria Landing in her honor. He told the New York Times he hoped no one aboard had suffered, saying that if the plane had depressurized, that, quote, they all would have just gone to sleep and never woke up. Now, he got a call from the FAA just 90 minutes after dropping them all off at the rural East Tennessee airport. Leslie. Yeah, that had to be heartbreaking, Adam. Thank you. You can count on our team to stay on top of this story. We'll let you know what happens as investigators return to the crash site tomorrow. And for updates anytime, just head over to our website or the free WUSA 9 app.